Uh, just a brief explanation of what my channel is all about and uh, why I do it. Um, what it's not is um, a uh, you know an up-to-date magazine so to speak of current events uh, I I do try to keep abreast of current events but this particular channel the, that's not its purpose is not uh, to provide a running commentary on world events not at all what it is is an attempt to try to dig below the surface of world events um, I'm speaking as a, an English an Englishman um, <clears throat> to try to dig below the surface and and really try to get to the the real root of um, the trends and the conflicts um, that are really characterizing our times. Um, the most obvious characteristic in the Western world um, at, at this time is the ascendance of what the proponents of it themselves call progressivism. And my impression is that people um, around the world um, who are not deeply, um, you know, synchronized, so to speak, with, with Western culture, uh, really are l looking on and wondering what on earth the West I is happening to the West. Um, that's my impression. And, and by all means, point, point out to me if I'm wrong, if you think I'm wrong. But... Um, Certainly the impression I get is that people just about everywhere outside the West who, as I say, are, who are not on board with this thing uh, are looking on really with a, no small amount of horror at the, uh, the antics that Western activists and mainstream Western politicians now um, are actually getting up to. I mean, the whole world must be wondering how on earth did a geriatric... Um, old man who clearly is seriously impaired in his cognitive abilities has managed to be elected as the President of the United States. I mean, people who are, who are not au fait with, with what is going on must be absolutely dumbstruck that such a thing could actually happen. Um, well... You know, that is basically because um, he was considered to be preferable by a huge number of people in the United States who unfortunately, after years and years and years now, decades, have been brainwashed by this thing called progressivism, considered him to be either, either the least bad candidate, if you look at it from that perspective, or the best one from the point of view of progressivism. Um, and if that looks um, like an absolute horror show to most people, um, then, well, you can be assured that I certainly regard it that way as well. I do believe that the West has literally taken leave of its senses. And the purpose of this channel is to dig into what are the political theological, ideological, philosophical reasons for this extraordinary departure from common sense, common human sensibility, um, you know, that, 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 that can make some sort of sense of it. And also give us some idea of how to fight back against it. Um, so that's the purpose of the channel. Um, often my videos will be up to 40 minutes long, sometimes a little bit more. They just seem to naturally end up being that kind of length. 
Um, I don't set out to make short, punchy videos, except uh, on occasion. Um, so it'll either be your cup of tea or it won't. Um, the way that I view things is that if I sowed one very fertile seed, it would be better than sowing a million not very fertile seeds. And so I'm not looking for numbers, um, you know, in, in, in terms of, you know, the, the uh, the popularity of the channel, I'm, I'm not I'm not the slightest bit interested in that. But I would like you to uh, share it with any uh, friends or associates who you feel actually would be interested. Not whether they agree with it, but whether they would actually find it valuable um, to... <laughs> to go through this, I had one person commented comment, commented that um, they didn't want to take a tour around my mind. Well, that's more or less exactly what this is. Pretty much a tour around my mind, but not for the sake of it. Um, I am very much plugged into this world, but I, I'm not, you know, I'm not a young whippersnapper. I've been around quite a bit. You know, I'm nearly 70 years old now. I grew up um, during the Vietnam War period. I began my political orientation on the very far left, um, very much a communist. And as time went by, I realized that communism was not what I thought it was. And more and more and more came to take very seriously the, the values of what I would call conservatism. Um, but what I mean by that is not necessarily what leftists would mean by that. Um, I am not an uncritical supporter of capitalism. That's not my position at all. Nowadays, I tend to err towards the view that, yes, capitalism does need to be controlled and limited. And the only way to do that is through politics. And I do believe in the organic nation, the validity of the organic nation and national politics. So if that makes me a nationalist, then I um, gladly plead guilty to being a nationalist. Um, but I am absolutely not a national chauvinist. I believe every people has a right uh, to their own nationhood. Um, in the current case in Ukraine, I think it's, uh, and, and by the way, I do apologize if at times I sound overly critical or, or, or offensive to Ukrainians. I certainly don't mean it to be that way. Um, I do believe that Ukraine has an absolute right to defend itself as, as any other nation does. But I do think that Ukrainians um, need to they need a reality check, and I think they're getting a hell of a big reality check right now. Um, they're, they're, and speaking as, a, as an English person, part of the United Kingdom, I am speaking from bitter experience. Um, my own country is by no means as stable as we would like to think it is. You know, we've had the Scottish referendum for Scottish independence. Northern Ireland remains a serious problem. Uh, the Welsh and even the Cornish uh, frequently talk about wishing they weren't part of the United Kingdom. So, you know, um, the Buddhist idea of karma very much applies to the UK. Uh, and so I am viewing the Ukraine from that perspective um, to any Ukrainians watching. And I do have good Ukrainian friends. Um, your nation is not stable. It, it, well, it's not stable if you try to make it exclusively like Ukrainian, Ukrainian. You have di seriously, um, serious differences between ethnic groups. The most obvious one being um, the heavy, um, the, the heavy concentration of ethnic Russians in the eastern part of the country. Um, really, I do believe that you have 
fallen foul of Western propaganda and mischievous Western encouragement to believe that it was in your interests to join NATO. I do believe that the, the current condition of the Ukraine, two months into serious military conflict with Russia, um, is all the evidence that you need to realise that it was never in your interests to be a member of NATO. Never. And I would say the same to the Finns and to the Swedes. I think you are making a terrible mistake to abandon neutrality. Um, Russia remains an absolutely major nuclear power and it will continue to remain not only a nuclear power but an ever-growing conventional power as well. And meanwhile, the United States is actually weakening in terms of its influence in the world. Uh, we are going to have a multipolar world, not a US-dominated unipolar world. And I do not believe people in the West have really gotten to grips with that future reality yet. I think people in Ukraine were badly misled, and I think people in Finland and Sweden right now are also being very, very badly misled. I do not believe that Russia as a nation wants to dominate Finland, Sweden, or especially the Ukrainian parts of, of the Ukraine. I do think that Ukraine is very much a part of Russian history and there's no way that you can get out of that. Any, 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 any more than the Scots can get away from the reality that they are an absolutely integral part of British history. There are some things we just can't leave behind. Uh, they come with us wherever we go. And um, my only hope is that the conflict is over as soon as possible and as few people are hurt uh, as is possible. Um, I do not rate highly the current Ukrainian leadership, which seems to be willing to sacrifice an inordinate number of Ukrainians in, in order to make some sort of glorious stand um, in, in a kind of like a, an interdependent solidarity with the West. Uh, my Western leaders, Boris Johnson, the current Conservative Party leadership in the UK, they do not represent me. Uh, as far as I understand, in, 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 the, um, in, in the United States, I'm just going by reports of opinion polls, something like two-thirds two -thirds of the popular opinion in the United States does not want any further, any deeper involvement uh, in the Ukraine conflict uh, by America. Uh, the Europeans do not want to, and ca simply cannot possibly um, afford to have all of Russian uh, energy supplies cut off. Um, it's, it remains to be seen where this thing is going to go. But, uh, and obviously, <laughs> this is only a temporary introduction to the channel. But it just goes to show how much the Ukraine is dominating events at the present time. But... Um, as I say, my principal purpose here is to try to get to the deep political, philosophical, theological roots of, of, of what this progressive thing is that has played a very big part in um, leading us into this current position. The, the progressives played a big part. The progressives in conjunction with the neoconservatives in America, played a very big part in the in in fueling the Maidan uh, uprising, and um, I do believe that the current events are a direct result of that of that uprising and the ambitions, uh, the, the the nationalist ambitions which it gave rise to, there were overreach, massive overreach with respect especially to the eastern part of the Ukraine. And um, this is the result. It's not just 
Russia invading the Ukraine. The, the ethnic Russians in the east of Ukraine um, did not want, no longer felt that they belonged in a Ukraine which was going to be dominated by, by the kind of ambitious, the, the nationalist ambitions that came out of the Maidan uh, coup, the uprising in general. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you, I hope um, you enjoy uh, listening to my reflections on these things and and my investigations. And um, as this, as everybody says, hit the like buttons because it's good for the channel. It gets it, it gets it to be better uh, known. And uh, we'll leave it there. <laughs>